table Disney dinners Beauty and the Beast. We have a French menu of cheese souffle, beef ragu, and you've got to try the great stuff. It's delicious. Now we invite you to relax, so let us pull up a chair as the Rose Table proudly presents your dinner. Now Beauty and the Beast was a little bit different because my dining room is already French themed. So here I really wanted the roses to shine. So I had rose garland, I had just a sea of red roses down the middle of the table. I even wanted pretty plain nondescript vases because I wanted the roses to shine. This is three dozen red roses, just very Beauty and the Beast. I had long taper candles in silver candle holders, very French I thought. I also printed out these napkins, a little keepsake for my guests. It's actually all in French and that's the menu with the drink pairings. I'm so in love with these red rose napkin rings from Pier 1 to I saw them and just had to have them. I hung another rose garland on my china cabinet which I originally purchased because it reminds me of the wardrobe in Beauty and the Beast. Here's also Chip hiding in the cabinet. That makes me so happy. That's a little bit like my Hidden Mickey theme. You can see some of my French artwork and then I was so in love with this side table. I have a hidden Lumiere, a stack of books, a clock, and a single red rose. Also some of the petals always fall off when you're arranging flowers so I put some of those there at the bottom. I used yellow placemats as a nod to Belle's dress with a white napkin. Had some little hidden Disney plates on the table and just went really simple again just let the roses really shine here for the first course we of course had to have a cheese souffle this is actually mini cheese souffles so everyone had their own ramekins now i have made prettier cheese souffle but i've not made more delicious cheese souffle this was so good this is actually gruyere parmesan with herb de provence and you can get the recipe on the rosetable.com it's also a complete coincidence that my Le Creuset ramekins happen to be red and they match the table so perfectly. I served a very simple champagne cocktail of Chambord and Veuve Clicquot, my all-time favorite champagne. We also had little strawberry roses on the champagne glass, very Beauty and the Beast. The main course was beef ragu, a hearty French stew. It's great for entertaining because you actually make it hours before the party. I was determined to create my own beef ragu for this party for the Le Creuset Beauty and the Beast soup pot. I mean, have you ever seen anything so perfect? So you start by seasoning and browning a beef chuck roast. Then you remove the roast, sweat some onions and garlic with a little herbe de Provence. Then you'll deglaze the pan with beef stock and good red wine. Add your vegetables and then you carefully set the chuck roast back in the pan once your vegetables have softened a little, and then you'll transfer it to the oven and let it cook for an hour. Then you'll carefully flip the roast, cook for another 60 to 90 minutes until you can easily shred the beef. Then you'll put it back on the stove, add some tomato sauce, a pinch of sugar, and some sprigs of oregano, and let that simmer for another 45 minutes on the stove. Slop it up with some great baguette and you are good to go. For dessert, I just had to come up with my own version of the gray stuff. So the Rose Table's gray stuff is a Chambord brownie round topped with hand whipped cookies and cream whipped cream. And man, it is delicious. So you start out by making some Chambord brownies, let them cool completely, and then hand whip some cream with powdered sugar, vanilla, and some Oreo cookies to give it that nice gray flavor. You then use a biscuit cutter to cut the brownies into rounds. Look how fudgy and beautiful. And then just pipe on the whipped cream, really pretty and nice. And there you have it, so easy. And really you could do this with so many different flavors for an elegant dinner party dessert. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. It's so fudgy, right? Oh. Let's get down to business, y'all. It's so yeah. fudgy, I'm gonna die! Right. Uh -huh. It is delicious. These are like my favorite brownies to make too, because you don't, they don't have any butter, so you don't have to have like a homemade brownie. Usually you would have like softened butter, and you don't have to have any of that for this. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, because next month is Mulan.